call me? El Algico. I mean, fair enough. I'll go with that. That works. Thanks, <laughs> me taco. There we go. Uh, well, welcome to Sonic Superstars. It's a bit weird having the camera over there. This is going to take a bit to get used to, but there we go. Welcome, everybody, to Sonic Superstars. It is a brand new 2D Sonic game that came out last year. It is a lot of fun. We are going to break it in one way, one way only. It's a magic dragon. I'm going to sing the song as we go along with it. I hope you're ready to see some trip. She's a brand new character of the game, but we will talk more about that as we jump in. We are playing in story mode here. We are playing with Trip. She is a new game plus character because you only unlock our spoilers when you finish the game. And we are going to be playing in the basic story mode. She has her own mode you can play, but that adds extra levels and we're going fast. So we're skipping all of those and we're doing her story. With me is the ever wonderful HUDS601. Hello, I've somehow managed to find my way here. I'm not sure why, but... Yeah, he's right. not getting a word in edge ways because no, I'm, I'm just going to be talking. I'm, I'm, I'm here for moral support. I love my moral support. It's great. Yeah, you're um, he, he needs to tell me the difference between normal and sparkling water. <laughs> I can't believe you this, sparkling. This, this was sparkling. I have made it normal. It's not good. <laughs> Hi, me tackle. Right, we are ready to go. So without further ado, we're going to go with three, two, one... Let's go! go! All right, we got a little hub world here. It's the only time you're really going to see it. See it once more, maybe twice as we go through. Welcome to Sonic Superstars 2D Sonic game. We are going right. Sometimes we're going left. We got a six tap spin dash to rev our way through. And Trip here is a Sun Gazer Lizard, brand new character to the series. She is wonderful. And we are going to be running through the stages as quickly as we can, grabbing our speed shoes as our first major ability of the run here. You know what speed shoes are. They temporarily boost your maximum speed. We're going to be using this to do a little bit of slope jumps and that, just trying to stay up the top route on these levels because top route is best route and that is true through most Sonic games here. So we're going to be running our way through all the way there, getting caught in that one, but still keeping the momentum, which is fine. Run up the hill, run down here, spin our way through, double jump over the loop, because loops are slow and away we go. So Trip here has double jump. She also has the ability to attach to walls and ceilings. And any eagle eyed viewers will know that when she jumps and when she double jumps here, she looks like Vector from Knuckles Chaotix. So shout outs to the few people that actually understand that game and to Heavy, because I know he likes Knuckles. Hey. So we're going to run our way through. That is the end of stage one. It is the end of the basic movement of the game, which is going to slow down there because it means that stops spinning quicker. And away we go into stage two, where we're going to break the game. And this is going to be our main form of travel in the run here. Level select, we just want to select act two. We don't want to do act fruits because act fruits bonus stages we don't worry about bonus stages and away we go so running our way through bridge zone act two we're going to run that was a really slow spin dash but that's fine double jump up to the top right here double jump here we're going to grab it you guess it more of the speedy shoes thing i need to worry about is the gimmick in these stages of these little launchers i want to land on the right launcher i do not want to go down the bottom right but we're down the bottom right so that's fine the goal for me is just to get 50 rings if i can get 50 rings i'm golden no literally i will be golden so we're just going to run our way through here grab that Ooh, that's a time loss, but that's fine. So this is our special stages. This is where you get the emeralds. Don't you hole in one, mate. <laughs> hole in one on that one. But yeah, we're literally going to drop down here, just fall down. That's a giant golden plate there. It's meant to be a spring to save you. We ain't doing any of that. Special stage, on because we already have the emeralds anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but the goal is get 50 rings. Ideally, I shouldn't have been down this bottom right. I've fallen down. I need to get back up. Thankfully, we can just get up with this and then hit that one and just go for it and see where we end up. I know where I am, though, so that's good. I have my bearings. We can go through. 44 rings is fine. We'll get the 50 here. I'm going to wait, run through this section. Robo jump, and I'm a magic dragon now. She okay. is literally golden. Away she goes. Woo! So then we're going to do the tricks on this one. We're going to go up to the top of the level. I'm going to go left. Suddenly, I'm going to go higher than the top of the level. Then I'm going to line up onto a specific line, and she is Newman. Doesn't look like she's going high speed, but she's going super high speed. So high, she goes through the wall. We drop down, hopefully skips over the boss, lands on the level capsule, and bam, that's the stage skip. Welcome to the rest of the run. So three things just happened there. We're going to explain them as we go through on the run. We have Trip's transformation into her magic dragon form. Uh, allows her to change her hitbox size. And if you do that against collision, the collision doesn't exist. You just clip into it. You just go through. The second thing you have is you have a zip classic on a game here. You're allowed to go. If you go onto like the small little line that's available in the ceiling that changes, you gain a massive burst of speed. So we're going to take full advantage of those. We're going to grab the rings that we need to get 50, and that is basically how we're going to be playing the rest of the run. Trip will do all but one, or she'll, she'll do no but one boss. That is a really weird way of saying she's skipping every boss but one of them. She'll skip all but one. Yeah, pretty much. So we're going through the wall now. We've got the raves in the background there because I'm a magic dragon new. Gonna clip through the walls, it's what we do. I will keep singing this as we go in it because it's just something that I, I managed to pick up. And unfortunately, HUDs can't on here and it's great. I can't. So we're gonna, well, I'm gonna wait, just gonna drop down because we're over the boss arena, but we're not in the boss trigger. That allows us to go through and down we go. And that's the end of the stage hey. on that one. 
If at any point I fall down in a boss arena, then we're fighting a boss. I'll probably donate for it. We'll see what happens. But we're about to run through into Act 2. We're going to miss Act Sonic because we don't need to do any of the individual character acts. Because we are Trip, she is not required by leaderboard rules to do any character levels. So we are good to go. Speed Jungle Act 2's gimmick is the spotlight, which we shine on Make-A-Wish here. Hey! Make sure you keep your donations coming in for that. We're going to run our way through now, through the stage, making sure you don't know where you're going because that's what the spotlight does. The little butterfly there keeps you going. It's kind of like Sparks and Spyro, things like that. Shout outs to the Spyro and the PlayStation Nation communities. As we're going to run our way through now up to the top here. And then you guessed it, we're going to clip out of bounds because that's what we always do. So we're going to run our way through on this section, go up the vine. Rest in peace, seven seconds. Away we go, round here, this area, up, one, two, three, jump, jump, make sure you don't hit any spikes, avoid these enemies over here, don't want that. I'm gonna just grab some safety rings down there, because we're just gonna jump and grab them, because this area just loops on itself, we don't need to worry about it. I have more than 50 rings, we're good to go, I'm gonna prepare the different power that we have, which is our transform, we're gonna jump there, which is nice, we're gonna land on the little vine, pull it up, run our way through, double jump, make sure we don't go into the special stage up here by spinning under it, that was a big jump, and then leg it up wall number one, to go through ceiling number one. So we're going through because I'm a magic dragon dude. Gonna go back left because it's what we do. Gonna go back up and then we're out of bounds. Gonna cross to the right. The game realizes the rest of the level needs to load. So it loads it up that we line ourselves up down here. Get ourselves on the super speed line. Away we go Newman through the stage. Straight through the wall. Wait for those rocks to go off screen. You see the little bit of the trees there. Drop down. Do we nail it? Let's find out. Oh, oh so close but not quite. So you get the little vines there, you get the little, little what do you call it, little, I don't know, spinny thing? I can't remember what it's called. Words failing me. Uh, but now we're going to do a major skip in the run here. We're going to use one of our other emerald powers here. It is called Bullet, because it makes you move faster than a speeding bullet. It also allows you to go through walls. There's a bit of a clue going on here. So we're going to just line ourselves up, go up one, two, and see if we can line ourselves up there. Through the wall, please, game. And that's in. That's not going to make it, though, because we need to have it by at least three quarters of when the gauge runs out, because if you go later than that, you will run out of time. So specific lineup on the ground here. Jump, bullet, gimme in the wall here. You're getting pushed by the big circle into the wall and it's just not doing it now. So that's fine, so that's another restart. But that's okay. Because what we're doing is you're supposed to go through the stage and do all this. We ain't doing any of that, so not normally have problems with this, but let's see if it does. Hey, hey, there you go. Third time's the charm, eh? Oh, oh, thanks very much. Who put your... Oh. <laughs> It's good timing because I was actually too slow there because I don't normally fail that one. But that does mean that we have a dono. So while I'm running through the rest of the stage here, uh, Madago, if you have anything, feel free. Yeah, sure do. I've got $10 from Chris J4 who says, Magic Durgan, Magic let's Durgan. go. And we've got $10 from Cass and Chew who says, had to make a second donation during Argix run. Such a cool and charismatic guy. Cheers from Brazil, Heart. Ta very much. Ta hello, Brazil. And both of those are going to the boss rush in Splatoon 2. Nice. Ooh. That's almost met. Sweet. I mean, you get some bangers on that. Get them met if you can. Such a cool series. Right, Magic Durgan, she goes through. You only get her for about two seconds, though, because we just skipped the boss. Away it goes. That's that. Done. Easy. Uh, so literally, the level trigger for the boss there is just above the end of that tunnel. So if you just go slightly above the tunnel and over, it just skips the boss entirely. It's like, all done. Away we go. But that is the stage. That is the power of Bullet. Bullet is amazing. You will be seeing more of Bullet here. That is a Knight's figurine there. I uh, made that myself. You're never going to see it again. It's a shame. Uh, but we are going to now go into a pinball carnival uh, because we do love a bit of pinball games. It's not a Sonic game without having a pinball or a gamba stage. So we're going to run our way through the pinball carnival, pulling out Bullet, going to rubble jump here, rubble jump, double jump, run our way through, grabbing the rings. Again, it's a race to 50 rings. This should just be called race to 50 rings, the category, because we are just racing our way through 50 rings. We're going to make sure we don't go into the little secret portal that normally appears. Over the sea lands, roll our way down the hill here. One, two, double jump. See what we land? We got bumped. That's fine. We're going to land our way down here on the flipper. Flip ourselves up, grab the rings, grab the transformation, up the wall, because that's where I drive my mum all the time. And away we go. So up to the top, out of bounds, and and away we go. So now, Dragon Do is gonna fly across the stage we know. The reason we're not doing the zip though, is because the zip is way up to the ceiling there and we cannot get there in time, it's not worth it. Instead, we have a visual cue, middle tower in the background there that has the top and the bottom. When the bottom one, the white dots, once they fully go off screen, drop down, profit. Which is very, very good for us. So while we're going through that, time for another quick one. <laughs> <laughs> we got ten dollars from Pollister. He says, "Wait, does every donation make the year too slow?" Sound. The, the thing is, like, the correct answer to that is no. But we can't do it. <laughs> so, like, I mean, 
secret person behind the stage known as Pulpiter. If you want to, like, adjust the stream deck for this run and this run only, I'm okay with that. Pulpiter, if you want to be a problem, please feel free. <laughs> he's not, he's actually That's... over there, and it's not him. <laughs> You're playing with the wrong person. It's a dangerous word. It is. Okay, there right. are two people on the list. I mean, I... Go for it. Hang on. Look, look. Right, while you're doing that, I'm explaining what I'm doing here. We're going bullet. I don't want to hit those spikes. We're going to fall down to the part of the level I'm supposed to be at. We're going to build ourselves up into the lovely booster there. It takes us over. We now have the gimmick, which is the different colored flames. Red flame and blue flame. They both damage you. Don't want to do that. Yeah, so you yeah, rotate the so flames well. are. God damn it. And then we run <laughs> our way through. We're going to roll our way down on this one. Double jump our way over. Come through. Hit the button. Go in. Around the section here. Making sure we land back on the roller coaster. Really important note, every time you hit a checkpoint, you gain back your emerald powers. Emerald powers are like only usable for one time unless you hit a checkpoint. There's Amy, bye Amy, we love Amy. Shout out to the Cali Mac runner of the game as Amy. We're gonna bounce our way up here, gonna jump on this, gonna jump on this one, clip out of bounds, head up to the right, cause we're a magic dragon dude. And we're gonna run our way up towards the top of the level. Then the second part of the level appears. Once we get to the second part of the level, we wanna line ourselves up just on the magic line once again, and we're gonna see if we can get through the two walls. So we've got one wall that's gonna block us, and we've got another wall that is thick with three C's, because it is just that thick. So we're gonna bash our head through one, I'm gonna bash my head like three times, four times, five times. Nope, didn't happen. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go up past the invisible wall here. There is, you can try and get your way through it, but it is two walls basically next to each other, and we don't wanna do that. So we're just gonna go through over the top, drop down, immediately land towards where the end of the level is. Again, another boss is done, and away we go, and we now get to go to Lagoon City. Very nice. Sorry, Lagoon City. Lagoon City, I am not giving, I did not bring you here for you to start doing Lagosity, or whatever you wanna call it. What, Lag <laughs> Lagoonosity? Yes. <laughs> if you think he's right, donate and tell me he's right. If you think he's wrong, donate and tell me he's wrong. But I'm right. A hundred dollars. Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> God, right. I can jump in. Oh, yeah, if you want. Okay, yeah. We've got, we've got ten dollars from Davinas, who says, "Shout out to Argic, the fastest commentator and speedrunner, and all-round amazing person." Thank you very much. Trust me. Wait until later for Dream Team. I, I need to speak with my runners. We got plans. <laughs> oh, uh, but we are going through Lagoon City here. This is a stage where we do mainly with just Trip in her normal form here. We will be dragoning to skip the uh, boss, but at the moment we're just going to run, enjoy the movement, enjoy the tune, just chill with the water pistols and that. Have a great time uh, in the stages here. So we're just going to run away through, get the double jumps again. Another couple of shouts just to a couple of runners of the uh, Sonic Superstars community here. Again, uh, we had Kali doing some runs. We've got Troy, absolutely amazing runner, current world record holder of this category, and uh, ha works with crowd control to make crowd control work for this game. Maybe one day in the future you'll see some crowd control here. Uh, but we'll see what happens. We're flying over the top of the level right now. We've got the rave. I love the rave going there oh, okay. as well. Yeah. How many times did you break crowd control when you tried it? Too many. <laughs> um, now I'm going to just drop down, hopefully not breaking the game, because we're lining up our tail with the end of the background oh. there. That then allows me to drop down immediately right at the end it. of the stage, and bam, Beautiful. away we go Beautiful. as we go on that one. So we're going to go through it. We're going to go in, and now we're going to do another, yeah, you guessed it, fly over the stage. But this one's a bit more difficult to do because we're going to go past the boss arena. We're going to hit the uh, end of level area, but we've, we can we can soft lock. So I don't want to soft lock. That's the plan. We're not going to do that. Nope. Uh, but we've got her coming in. She's coming through. We've got a wonderful tune that I'm going to talk over because, well, unfortunately, that's what we do. But we're going to slip and slide our way down here. It is the race to 50 rings as we're going to run our way through. Take deliberate damage on the damage boost so we don't fall down the hole. We then want to make sure we grab enough rings on this section and hold left immediately when you come out of this segment because then you don't get hit with the fish. He says it's immediately hit with the fish. So I'm going to restart so we get to do that again. I just landed right in his mouth. You did? It just chomped me. Were you holding left? I was, actually. Because, no, wait, I was, I was holding right. I said left. I meant you said right. left. I, I meant right. You know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was going to say, it looked like you're holding right to me. I mean, the camera's mirrored. Oh, true. <laughs> right, so we're going to try that again. This time we had the shield, so it keeps our rings on this one, which is good. As long as we don't get hit, we're going to go through, grab this section, go down to this area. Away we go, run our way through. Up, oh, I'm holding right. There you go, so you dodge the fish that time, in we go. So just double jump our way up here, run our way through. Going to get the remaining rings You're that we need to so transform. Aww, oh, every time. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go through, grab the rings, and then up we go to the top. Magic Dragon is back again. So I the really Magic Dragon is good. It, it's really good. So we're gonna line ourselves up for ceiling number one. Again, I'm gonna just go for the speed. Switch the keyboard input here just to be able to alternate left to right without moving on time. Now I have to count, so we've gotta hold up right. So I think I'm on three, four, five, 
Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If I've done it right, I'm going to pull out the bullet for safety. Because then what I need to do, there's the end of the level there. We now just need to go back and bounce. There we go. So the problem is if you fall too far down, yep. you'll hit a bouncy snake. And the bouncy snake will just say, nah, bye, you're gone. Uh, and if you don't get in there, you're going to get stuck between invisible walls. That's it, also not happening. Uh, and it's all a bad time. But we so got through it, we got around it. You that's, hit fancy snake, you got through it, and it doesn't trigger the next level. No, it doesn't. And oh. it's really annoying, and it's like, aww. Uh, but now we're in Sand Sanctuary. Sand Sanctuary is a really easy level. We're just using Bullet to go up the top, right? Running our way through, doing the dragon again. Um, so, final shout out for me on this one as well. It's just Cryptic Jackknife. Really good runner uh, of games. Likes mainly a glitch hunter. Uh, absolutely destroyed this game with every character when it first came out. So, massive shout outs to them. And Taco, if you've got anything, feel free for the rest of the level. <clears throat> Don't you know it? I've got $10 from Chris J4. He says, Oh, just right. Lagonosity, Eggosity, Hydrosity. These are the right pronunciations. Velocity, Viscosity. You're all a mistake. I mean, I can read, and I'm an English pro, so I don't know. I, that seems correct to me. We've also got $10 from Dracodin. He says, An Englishman, a Scotsman, and an Irishman walk into an ESA. <laughs> <laughs> you can fill in the blanks at home. <laughs> Technically, not wrong. <laughs> right, off to the top once again. And away we go. So we're going to go and do the super speed dragon once again as we run over all the bosses. Now, you might be wondering, why is it that we just skip all these bosses? The answer is just simple, because it's faster. Um, but the bosses in this game are, unfortunately, uh, basically just glorified auto-scrollers. She is not going through that wall. There she goes. Uh, there is, it is, they are just, unfortunately, auto-scrollers in this one. You cannot speed them up in the slightest. It is, once you hit them, they have iframes. Once they have iframes, you have to wait. Once you're waiting, rinse repeat for like six to eight hits yeah and the final bosses themselves are 12 hits or something of the same thing uh, we're not even doing the final boss nope. like we, we, we don't joke when we say she she does one boss and it's an auto schooler and it's we, we it, it's an unbreakable it's, stage yeah i mean it's, it's arguably the one detractor from this game as a total is the fact that your skill can't speed up the yeah, bosses that is you can it, be as skillful as you like it's still going to take as long as it takes yes uh, it, like they are set times there's nothing you can do about it it's just it's kind of unfortunate but it is how it goes um another run that you can do with this one tails is very fun to see um if you want to try and check out the tails run of this category uh, absolutely go for it he does very similar things with the clipping in that but has to use slightly more in the emerald powers so the gimmick of this stage is the factory in the background there is a giant press. And it is literally just slamming down. If you slam down, it pushes you up. So we want to make sure we don't get hit by that because that'll just pull us off the wall. And we want to make sure we jump before this happens. Because you know what's coming. I'm going to the ceiling. Everybody, get him doing. He's going to the ceiling again. He's like one of those monkeys. He's just going to fly around. But here we go, Magic Dragon once again. Up she goes to world number one. We're going to go to a second wall or second ceiling. We're going to go above second ceiling. We're going to line ourselves up. And now the game's going to look a bit weird on this one because like, it's not as smooth this time. Don't know why it does it. It's as if like the line is there and it's not there and it's broken and it's not broken. She's still moving at the super high speed. She's still going to be able to get through the walls. We're completely ignoring uh, the giant monkey boss in this stage as we're going to run our way through and down to the bottom. So we're going to grab it. We're going to go in it. Hey, there she goes. I've got to wait just until the thing yeah, starts. There she goes. No, I'm no. <laughs> I'm going fast. If I come under this, oh, I, I don't know. So I can't complain about that. Oh, I saw, I saw money there. I like that. That was fun. Money, money, money is good. Right, onto our Metal Gear Solid stage here. We are going into the secret sneaky stage. Why? Because the factory is exploding. I don't know why. We didn't even touch it, and it's blew up. So I'm just expecting um, like a giant exclamation mark to appear mm -hmm. above your head. Where's Apache when you need him? I know, right? So here we go, into a press he's, factory He's in a box two. at the back. He's in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Right, we got these buttons. These buttons will turn off the lights. The lights are indicated by the drone at the background there. If the drone's timer gets to zero, you blow up, you go to the nearest checkpoint. Doesn't matter if you're invincible, if you're dragon form, if you're whatever. The goal is to keep the lights off and uh, keep yourself going. So we're gonna run our way through here, make sure we hit these, uh, but we're just gonna destroy it, the level as well, quite literally. If I can actually get the jump up there, that's nice. I'm gonna be very scared of that enemy because I don't want it to, uh, it looks like Henry Hoover, but it shoots fireballs, so don't want that to happen. So we're gonna grab that, grab that, this is our 56 rings. You did not grab the wall there for some reason. We're gonna jump up, we're gonna make sure we don't get crushed by the pistons. Don't, you're not gonna wanna try and rave this one because it's going off and on and off and on. Because we immediately just corner clip this time. This was the original form of it. So we're going to do that. We're going to hit that one. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to turn it off. We're going to jump back up. 
We're going to corner club again. See, it's just like stopping and starting behind us here. That's great. <laughs> I was going to say, stop, you're stop, saying stop, don't stop, rave. Stop. I'm saying, no, keep up. I mean, that's true. <laughs> So we're going to run through. This is phase one of the level. We're not going under the full ceiling just yet because, again, we have that in the background there. So we need to hit that button just to stop it. We're then going to get up onto the ceiling here again. We're just going to run our way across the stage. And then I don't want to go too fast. There you go. So it gets the speedy speed through. Eventually get through the wall. Then we have to stop. We have to come up here. I'm going to unspawn dragon again. Up we go once again. This takes us through into phase two. You're meant to use giant rockets to navigate these areas. And oops, I lost the boss. It's gone. He's gone. Um, apparently, I found out recently that if you accidentally fall in the boss room's arena now, the, the boss just doesn't spawn. Like, it's Stop. gone. It's it's away. He's, he's, huh? So we're going to fly across top area number one, top area number two. We're going to run and double jump down the big crane here. We're going to land and you know what's coming. It's a capsule. Hey. And we're going to finish the stage. So we're going to go through now into Golden Capital Act 1, where we get more of the same, but this one's like kind of like, it's a mix between Pinball Carnival and just, oh god, I have too many rings, what are you doing? Um, and too many rings is not a bad thing. Those slow platforms are a bad thing. They are. We don't like those. It'd be um, nice if we could skip them. I know, right? No. So, Golden Capital Act 1. We're going to go through here, and we're going to go around to this area. So we're going to spin dash our way through. We're going to make sure we have bullet, just in case we need it. We shouldn't need it, but it's a lot of bumpers, a lot of bounces, things like that. We're going to grab our magnet. Didn't speak about magnet yet. The magnet is exactly the same as previous games. It will magnetize rings to you. The only downside this time is it's not a, um, it's not a shield. Oh my god. Wow, that's loud. That's a big one, but that, oh, Deja, but that, like, I mean, listen, I saw that. That's a stonking. <laughs> $250 donation, so Tackle. take it away, Tackle. But you don't get the lag that I get. I, <laughs> I, I, I can't see the... I, I, Was I, it not I, there yet? Oh, there's a $120 donation from Anonymous. Hey! hey. Says gotta go fast, Heck taking yeah. the multiple Goosebird shirts and Ooh. getting that Splatoon 2 boss rush. I pro I pro I'll tell you as soon as I can. I promise. No, no, I you're fine. Yeah, go for it. We've, we've got $10 from Lord Mize, who says, with all these water slides, is this the Hydro City? Oh, excuse me. Yes. That fell yes. flat. Yes. Oh, no, it's still February, isn't it? I know. Damn it. Ha! <laughs> Hydrosity is not a word. Thank you. <laughs> there are other ones. I oh, mean, I bet there are. It pains me so much. Right, we are running through the level here. We are bouncing our way through the obstacles here, dodging the seahorses, dodging the uh, the little pulleys here, the springs, trying to just navigate our way through. This is actually like kind of complex movement in the game, but it's it looks like it isn't. But we've got our drill here, so bam, 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 bam. If you're a colors fan, you know what we mean by the drill there. But uh, we're now going to go to uh, we're going to go to our friends uh, down in Australia here, because the way that this game works is we have the stairs here that are our lovely stairs, and uh, we're just going to run our way through around, flip upside down. There we go. Welcome to Australia um, as we run our way in. So hello to our friends uh, down there. Who have run here? Go and no day that. <laughs> So it's just going to go up. We're going to clip up here on this. If I can actually get the jump to clip it. There you go. No, I don't want I want to hit the ceiling. And then to clip. Oh, she's no Dana. I'm just going to keep doing that for you. Let's just start dancing and then not dancing. There yeah. you go. She made it in. So now what we're going to do is the end of the level, because we're now upside down, I just had a random idea one day. Just go, what happens if we go left now? The end of the level is actually over here to the left. It's ridiculous. There she goes. Everything flips back around. You can still see her. She's there. Um, but she's landed on a little safe platform that's in the sky. <laughs> Not sure why. End of stage, level ends. Going to skip going to Knuckles because we don't want to go to Knuckles. I'm sorry, buddy. We love you, but it's not your time to shine here. And now, for everyone, because I know there's going to be a complaints about this. Mm -hmm. I know you hate me skipping over levels. I know you hate me skipping the bosses. You'll be pleased to know they've stole my Chaos Emeralds. Fang stole my Chaos Emeralds. I can't skip the boss anymore. I can't fly over it with a dragon. My ring, there's no powers there. So we've got to do this stage normally. But trip is overpowered. So she's got our double jump and our grip here. We're just gonna double jump and grip our way through. We're gonna get past these lovely little bees that are being really, really slow. We're gonna jump our way through on here, grab the magnet. Not that we need it, because 50 rings is irrelevant. Up the flippers to run our way through. Wow, okay, perfect, bounce back down. So we're gonna run our way through on the little bumpers here. We're gonna make sure it bounces us up to each of the segments. We're then gonna run our way through to our first little, ooh, nice. Our first little auto scroller segment, if we get up there, this is really hard moving just to make sure that you don't get bogged around the place because the whole point of this is it's trying to like move you around like a pinball and whatnot and keep you on your toes basically 
So on the auto scroller, she can go on ceilings here. If I hit two enemies, I will knock off the thing. So we just try and stay on it for a bit for funsies. Running across it just to speed it up. We fall down there because we need to actually fall down here. Because what we're going to do is after the final set of bees appear. Oh, oh, that's going to be interesting. Okay. So I got a lot further than I thought. I don't think I've activated the pool. So there's meant to be a glitch that you're able to do where you activate the pool of the auto scroller early that will then allow you to be pulled towards, well, an area that we're going to skip. I have a backup if I need to do it, but we'll see what's going to happen. And by backup, I mean the original harder strat that I don't want to do. So we're going to go through, we're going to go up, we're going to go in, we're going to then just grab this. Again, it's all irrelevant at this point because no rings matter. Games is going beep, 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 beep. No dragon for you. Oh, this is, this is fine. Bounce on the bubbles, bounce on the bubbles. On the bubbles, on the bubbles, and in the lava. So that's fine. Round the beta loop there. That's the original beta loop that they wanted for us. I'm going to go to the end of the level here. I am 99% sure I don't... Oh, I do have the oh. pool. Oh. One dragon, please. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to be a dragon. That's fine. I'll just use your platforms against you. So we are now in the auto-scroller section, but we are not locked into the auto-scroller. The thing about it now is if I jump at any point in time and land on that platform, it'll force me back to the auto-scroller and in that hole. That hole is where the boss is. We ain't doing it. I kid you not, it's a six and a half minute boss. It's garbage. So, so now we're just going to use our lovely little turtle uh, platform here. We are navigating out of bounds under the level right now. Why there's no kill planes, we don't know. We're waiting for a tube, and once the tube appears, we can then slow ourselves down and just go up. I'm then going to switch to analog movement because I'm con constantly being pulled to the right, and I don't want to go too far right, because if I go too far right, I hit the trigger that will pull me off the platform. If I go too far left, it'll pull me off the trigger of the platform. We want to be Goldilocks, we want to be just right. Oh God, I'm way too far right. So I'm just going to go all the way across, back to the left here, using the lineup on the legs that should appear. So there's leg number two, I want to see leg number one. Once leg number one appears, Away we go, we're going to run, we're going to jump out, we're going to go up to the top here. And that is going to allow us to skip the level, skipping another boss, dragon form, not required. And away we go. How they found this, I have no idea. No. So we're just going to jump hey. on that one, and away she goes. <laughs> away <trip>. she goes. <laughs> I'm going to let this play. I wasn't going to let this play because I wanted to try and PB, but I've made enough of mistakes that we can let this actually happen. Enjoy this cutscene. Enjoy, enjoy the cutscene. This is the introduction to her. So there she was. There she is again. So she takes him down. There she goes. But there she is. <laughs> You're a mean fan. And this is how we find out. She's like, no, I'm not letting you do this. My emeralds, Durgan. And that's how you get the dragon. Absolutely amazing moment. But the fact that we can break that cutscene is just like, she's sliding, she's there, she's sli What? what? Right. We, we need that as a gift, just sliding into Slide, DMs. Just sliding into your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. All right, in a cyber station. Now, this is a really fun one. This is, uh, this is the, Le the Sega level that LEGO designed. Um, we, it's, the, the Sega and LEGO have done a really cool promotion recently, which is really fun. Like, there's, the LEGO sets are, are actually really cool. I'm, I'm just like loving them. the pixel vibes. It is. It's Unfortunately, so we don't get Pixel Dragon. I'm a little mm. disappointed about that. I would love to have seen what Pixel Dragon would have looked like. But uh, once again, for everybody playing at home, it's magic dragon time, which means through the ceiling, in we go. We're a magic dragon new, gonna clip through walls and out of bounds, cause I'm going as fast as long as I've rings, going up and doing my shiny things. Got the emeralds, but I skipped them off screen. New, new game plus is super easy. <laughs> I'm ad libbing that's this on gonna, the spot. That's I'm, gonna come I'm, back I'm, and bite I'm you. I'm in trouble now. I've got everybody. <laughs> Listen, I'm the one running it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Right through the wall. Can we get a triple? We did not actually. So that didn't even clip us out once. So we're gonna run our way through. We're gonna jump up onto this extra jump. Go through clip. That's gonna be one. So come on, get me through the wall. Come on. Can we get through the wall? She's just gotta headbutt herself through bonk, the wall here. Bonk, bonk. There you go. So through one wall one. Through two wall two. Can we get the triple? Oh, baby, hey, a triple! Let's go. A triple at Very ESA. Nice. Wonderful. We're now lining ourselves up against the little circular marks there. That lets us get straight through this wall. We're then going to wait for the camera to move itself down. Oh, no, two above. Okay, that's fine. So we want to go down into the rocket section, but we actually don't want to go to the rocket because what we're going to do is we're going to clip ourselves out onto the area, line ourselves up, and zoom in faster than the speeding bullet does, and away we go. Now, the downside is if I don't get through the second wall immediately, we might have a bit of a ring issue here. Ooh, ooh. 
Yeah, we're going to have a bit of a ring issue now, which is going to be really fun. So she's just not doing it. There you go. Come on, Trip. She's got it. We got our final one. I just need to clip out. So we're going to run our way through. I have 15 rings, though. This is going to be very, very tight. So I'm going to go higher than I want to, using the city scape as our advantage here. There are three segments of the boss arena we need to get over here. So I'm immediately going to bullet when I get out of this. Back up bullet. Hello. And I'm going to bullet my way along here and pray that I have enough. Because if I fall into the boss arena, it's a soft lock, you're doing the full level again. Oh, there's the end of the level there, so we're fine. So we fall down, emergency backup bullet, there's hey. the capsule, off we go. Late run still lives and we're happy about it. And the lesson is, know your backups. Always know your backups, it's really important. It really is. Okay, so now we are going into a Frozen Factory Act 1. This is a stage that I probably going to hit spikes and I don't want to hit the spikes, but we'll see what happens with it. Uh, we're going to run our way through the base here. This has got conveyor belts. We want to use the conveyor belts to our advantage. That was a terrible start. I was supposed to jump up there to go through on that one, but that's fine. So we're going to double jump our way over and not get slammed by the enemies. Use the conveyor belts here, grabbing the rings, because the ring route is pretty tight on this stage. As so we're going to run, jump on these little elevators. First one, I need to wait for the set of six rings. Jump through. Don't go too high because you hit the ice. Second set, you need to line up here and then Time. Ooh, that's what I didn't want to have happen. So this is what I was worried about because now I'm going to just try and grab as many of them as I can. I'm not actually that low, which is good. I'm thinking, and that's dangerous. So, <laughs> so that's fine. That's fine. I should be able to get some here. Is that going to be enough on the way up? No, it's not. I need to grab a set down the bottom here. That's fine. So we got enough. That's fine. It's not as quickly as we wanted it to be, but we take it. We get the 50 there. Away we go. So ideally, you don't want to hit those spikes. The Magic Dragon Rave team coming again. I love that. That's really cool. I like that. Little hype squad. Hopefully all the runs get a little hype squad there. Running across the pink roof here, the pink sky, on through the wall in at the second side of the stage. This is where you're supposed to see the Egg Fortress. If she goes through the wall. Bonk, 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 bonk. There she goes. Uh, it's random if you go through the wall, by the way, as far as we're aware. So there's supposed to be a giant egg fortress in the background here. The level is supposed to be crumbling underneath you. Again, we haven't activated any of the level triggers on any of this, so it's not happening. I'm using those little trees in the background there, but in the foreground of the background, to know when I'm coming up to the magic wall. The magic wall then lets me know, there's the end of the stage there. That's the boss arena. Don't fall in there. Fall down here. Away you go. Stage is done. Lovely. Very nice. Well now, done. Sega love referencing their previous games that they've done, the retro titles, some may even say the retro retro titles. Chat, I'll let you all guess, what stage is this? And while we're going through this lovely old school, I'm going to take it away, my friend. We've got $5 from Big But 5 oh. who says, wasn't going to donate just yet, but I had to for ARG, not only for speedrunning the game, but the explanations to make sure this run doesn't drag off. Hey. Frankly, that for $5, you should have paid more. Um, <laughs> We've got five dollars from Paulister. Oh, bunk percent. Just, just to meet a certain incentive. That's going to meaning the kill gun they're using as kill freeze in Deus Ex. We've got a lovely five dollar donation from Cass and Chu. I just called my old friend Yuji Naka and got confirmation. It's High Dro City. Hope that puts the matter to rest. I, I feel that was right. The capitalization very much implied. That's how it should be said. You're the one reading. <laughs> so, um, you're welcome, everyone. I'm just going to settle this for now. Splishy, splashy, fun time zone. Yeah. Keep going. You've got, you've got splishy, splishy, well. splashy, splashy, <laughs> splishy, splashy, fun time zone. That is genuinely what we kind of all agreed uh, yeah, on uh, yeah. to get around yeah. this. <laughs> so Me and the guys were talking. <laughs> Sp uh, splishy, splashy, fun time zone. Why? Because we're set, fed up arguing about it. <laughs> Let us out. Okay, so we're just damage boosting these bosses here. Oh no, I need a run. The correct, the correct answer to the question earlier was, this is of course Fantasy Zone, uh, one of the very, very old games back on the Mega Drive. Uh, I think it was Mega Drive actually, it might even be earlier than that. But uh, we just have to take out these bosses as long as I am uh, Gollum here. One ring to rule them all, my precious, etc, etc. I can just damage boost for days and we are good to go. And now we're coming to the final two levels of the run. My personal favourite levels, I love them. I hope I don't whiff it. We'll see what happens. So we're going to run our way through now into the Egg Fortress. The Egg. Egg. It is just a giant egg. He loves egg-shaped things. So here we go, Egg Fortress Zone. We're going to go through. We're going to start with a bullet out just in case. We're going to run our way through on this section. We need to take out this pillar enemy. So one, 
to into three. Double spin dash immediately to clip out of bounds in the wall. It didn't do it, that's fine. So you need to be fast enough to get the clip out of bounds in the wall to skip phase one of the level here. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna go for it again, just take out the enemy. We have bullet because you, we're bulleting our way through it once we get out of bounds here. So we clip, hit the wall, jump, 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 spin, spin through the wall. There you go, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And the reason you've got to be careful for that is because there are kill planes all around you. And if you hit the kill planes, you just die. Uh, so you could be very, very careful on that one. It's very dangerous running our way through the stage now. Trip has flaming on the ground. We don't care about flames on the ground because she can run across the ceiling. So we're going to run across the ceiling. We're not worried about bullet timing out on us because we've used it for the stage. Hopefully we get past the enemy here not getting hit. Very nice. We're going to spin dash to the anti grab room. We're going to jump. Once we get through the anti grab room, I'm just going to press the X button. That warps us to a random point middle way through the stage. So we lose the anti-gravity by hitting the enemies. The rings will still have anti-gravity, however, so I need to make sure I don't get hit. That gives us the rings here. We're gonna grab that all the way up to the top. This gives me my 40, that's enough. That gives me my 50. It's time for Out of Bounds. The downside about Out of Bounds here, though, once again, kill planes. If I hit the kill planes, then we are going to die. So we need to be very, very careful because the, it's like a giant Tetris block is what it is. It's like one of those one across, one up, one across. So we need to be very, very careful here. I need to make sure that we go across and don't go too high. I'm very good at my Tetris shapes names. I know them, that's fine. So we're gonna go all the way up to the area here and then we're gonna go across. I think it's three we got. I got one more. Do not go any higher than that. If I go any higher than that, I'm gonna die. Um, and I do not want to do that, so I'm not gonna press the up button, but we are literally just going straight across through the level, out of bounds, all the way across to the end um, as we're gonna go through. Nice reference. Is it though? Yeah. They keep arguing, is the giant purple moon the end? We don't know. <laughs> so we're gonna go through, eventually we'll see it again. Is that the end? Is it? Did you see it? I did. Uh, so we're gonna get emergency bullet here once again, cause uh, don't you dare, that was <laughs> almost extra and that would've been really bad. So we're gonna go through now, this should just drop us down to the end of the stage. There you go. Right. End of the stage here, end of the run, coming up very soon. We're on the final level. The really cool gimmick on this one, we get the cutscene for it. Things are reversing, everything's happening in reverse, including everything that we are going to do. I can't speak backwards, I've tried, it doesn't work. Uh, but I will say, there is no final boss. When we hit the capsule, it is the end of the run. So, just so you're aware. Cool. Um, so, toodle pip. But I, 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 I was going to be nice and not do that, but yeah. Thanks Bye. So you're welcome, mate. <laughs> it's got a run away. I'm sorry, Matako, I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting told off later, bye. Right, here we go, Egg Fortress 2, the final stage, the final frontier. I need those rings. Is that gonna kill me? No, it didn't, I mean, it didn't move. Not. That's fine, they didn't move. I was wondering if those platforms were gonna move because everything is happening in reverse. Platforms that were going down are now going up. Enemies that were de that were being destroyed are now respawning. <laughs> Can it I just say, I know we joke in the Sonic Speedrun community that like floors, wall ceilings are suggestions. Yeah. But this level is ridiculous. Yeah. I <laughs> mean, look, it's jumped. not up. Yeah, I, I, you I jumped. I did. <laughs> I let the platform moved up and I didn't go with it. What do you want? <laughs> So we run our way through, we grab the platform. Oh, you cheeky bum. So we're gonna grab the platform there. I just had a little bit too much momentum on that one. Go the right way, please, thank you. So we're now gonna go flying above the area here. There's supposed to be missiles moving backwards. There they all are. Uh, but because we didn't hit the trigger for it, they didn't move. The flames are now going back. This platform room is going backwards, if it decides. There you go, it's decided it's doing it. That enemy is there. The flames are going backwards to respawn, to reactivate, to do the thing. We've got another anti-gravity room here. So if I do it right, we spin dash, we jump, we just hold it. This might not work. That didn't work. So now we're gonna do the backup strat of just having her here. Nope, she touched it. So I need to make sure she is on the left most like pixel area. And then as long as she's not moving left or right, that works. Hey. And you get back out. So you have your backups for that as well. It's so hard. So we hit that spin our way down. We're gonna grab the dragon. We're gonna go through this area. Make sure I don't get hit by them. Get my double jump back, that's fine. Grab this to take us up into the area. We're gonna spin our way through. Double jump onto this section, grab these rings. Make sure I'm gonna wait for marathon safety because that will squish me if I get it. Durgan my way through for the final time this run. We are a magic dragon new. Gonna skip the boss, it's what we do. Again, a big shout out to the, the people just having absolute Wonderful time with the uh, the glow sticks, the rave sticks, being the hype squad as we once again just line ourselves up to clip out of bounds here. So she gets caught in the end there, but I need her to get in that part of the run to run our way through. Yeah! yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't go. 
He's like a little baby with a huge axe. Okay, so we're going to run our way through now. We're just going to stay out of bounds here right now until the game forces us in bounds. We are probably going to have to use the, uh, probably going to have to use my lovely friend, Bullet, but we'll see. Back to the original elevator that we skipped here. The end is in sight, quite literally, Hud. I would like you to hit the button for me Gladly. when time comes up as we're going towards the end. That is where the final boss is supposed to spawn. We are going down here. We drop down instead. Wait for it. Wait for it. And time. But done. And there you go. And Woo! that is Sonic Superstars. And the only way to finish a run like this, you finish the game, there she goes. And the game crashes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, the game is crashed because we finished the game in the most unintended way possible. You were supposed to do the boss, you didn't do the boss. Away we go. I see the time 30, 32. That is not a bad run at all. It that's is a great one. Miles underestimated for where I wanted. It's like I practiced. Yeah. Um, and there we go. That is it. That is Sonic Superstars. It is an interesting game. Um, this particular run. I'm aware it's, oh, hey, you're magic dragoning, let's go. But you have fun with her, and she's a wonderful wee character. Stay tuned for more amazing, more amazing uh, ESA. Like, this is only the second run of the event. You're going to have a great Sonic run with Dream Team, Whoa. and that is going to be a race between Huds and King Roads with me commentating. You're going to want to see that, because if this was a 2D game, the 3D, oh, it's good. And then we're finishing with a classic relay. 60 people have no idea what they're going to do, so <laughs> that's going to be fun. But over to the hosts there. We will see you all later. Ta very much, everybody.